Ever had like the perfect photo that you've been wanting to post on Instagram, but the Instagram crop will just ruin it so you get really sad and then you just end up not posting it because of the damn Instagram crop? If yes, then I made this video for you. Like literally, you're the person I made this video for. Welcome. What's up guys, I am Miles at Miles of Color everywhere online. I upload photography related videos every Tuesday on my channel, as well as a bi-weekly podcast titled My Vibrant Life. If you wanna help me out, uh, please leave a comment and like the video if, if you like it and to help boost me up in the YouTube algorithm. And make sure to subscribe if you like to see, and make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. Okay, with that being said, let's uh, hop into Photoshop. So real quick, the method that we are using today to stretch our image is called the marquee tool. And a little note on the photo that you're using. So it's very easy to make this look kind of bad. So the easiest way to do it, and we can look at the photo here on my screen, uh, we have no limbs of the model on the edge of the screen. We simply just have her in the very center of the frame. That's the easiest way to use this method. If I find other methods that work that we can kind of use to do the same thing in a more complex situation we'll use that however this works best with a center framed photo also this is kind of a challenging photo to use this method on because we have uh, you'll see you know the tree branch on this side and the tree on this side and yeah we're going to be stretching the photo a little bit so you're going to see how we're going to navigate around that little issue today's model is Vanessa she is linked down below in the description amazing beautiful model from Washington hit her up she's a great great to work with and I haven't finished editing this photo I basically did a color grade in Lightroom with a little preset I'm working on and that's all we've done so far Far, so be nice to me don't judge me don't judge me too hard here okay so we're going to start by just making sure the background layer is highlighted in our layers panel and then click command J or control J if you are on Windows all right so we have this duplicate layer we're going to use this duplicate to do the actual stretching of the image I like to just leave the background layer alone just in case I want to go back and use that for something else or if I'm like unhappy with the results I just like to keep Keep that option there. Okay, next move, we're going to press C on our keyboards, which is the crop tool. Go up here to the crop dialog box and make sure that you're highlighting four by five or eight by 10. That's the Instagram crop. Don't know why we don't have a full ratio being able to post the original images on Instagram since smartphone screens are so big, but I don't know. We're still, we're still stuck with the four by five. Great, so now that we have our four by five, I'm going to drag up the left side here and then drag down the right side by just simply clicking and dragging and boom we see now that we have the whole image fit into our crop besides the yellow bars on the side the yellow is just my color for my my background layer yours is probably white or black I'm guessing that's kind of the stock Adobe setting click enter on your keyboard boom all right this is what we are working with now so you can see obviously we have these bars on the side that's not ideal that's not what we want to use to post on Instagram we want to get into the actual stretch of the image now so you're going to press M on your keyboard this is the marquee tool up here click and hold the actual tool if maybe you're on the elliptical or the single row marquee or something like that make sure you're on the rectangular marquee tool here all right and this is where the stretching the cheating of the Instagram crop begins you're going to click and drag from the top of the image to the very bottom and make sure that you're not highlighting your model. What did I do? Oh my God, Miles, you're teaching a tutorial and you just, uh, yeah, you're that guy. Okay, click and drag from the top. Okay, so you can see that I accidentally highlighted my model's arm right here, but that's totally fine. Just use the arrow key and click right here and nothing's gonna change. It's just going to move our selection. I'm making sure it's moving right past Vanessa's arm because I don't want that to be affected by the work that we're gonna do here. Perfect, so it looks like it's right on the edge of her arm here and that's exactly where we want our marquee tool to be. We don't want it to be selecting any of our model in frame because then it's going to stretch them. So press V on your keyboard. Now we are using our selection tool here and you can see that we have these little boxes around the image. That is exactly that's exactly what you want because that's what we're going to use to do the stretching. So I'm going to click this little middle one right here and hold shift on my keyboard, click and then pull to the right. Check this out. It's pretty cool, man. 
And then when you're done, click enter. Perfect, and let's do the same thing to the other side of the image. Dragging down from the top to the very, very, very bottom, and then dragging all the way to the edge of the image here. None of Vanessa is highlighted, and then click, hold shift, drag to the left. Perfect, and when you're done, click enter. And boom, there it is, guys. See that whole image? Oops, I missed a little spot up here on accident. I'm going to do that just for the sake of the video here. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we have all of this done. Also, if you have the highlight marking, just press M on your keyboard and then click anywhere on the image and that highlight will go away. And there we go. So that is the before and to click the before and after, hold Alt on your keyboard and click the bottom layer the eyeball down there, and that's the before and after. So me, personally, I think mine's a little too stretched. I don't want it to be so stretched, but that is literally how you would get away with this uh, with a photo when you have a center frame subject. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to do a little quick speed edit and you'll see how I would typically frame this. So I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of the crop, but not a lot. Boom, and that is how it is done, boys. And of course, you're going to run in these scenarios where you can't exactly, you know, bring in the whole image, but this is still better than actually having to sacrifice a lot of the real estate on the screen just because your photo won't fit. So try to shoot with this composition in mind, and then you'll be able to just basically stretch your borders whenever you want to, when you want to fit something in that four x five for Instagram. And that was it. Thank you so much for watching the video. These are my cats. This is Billy. This is Elsa. I don't think they really want to be, uh, hanging out right now. I just woke them up from their sleep. If you end up using this method, please use my hashtag on Instagram or tag me on Twitter. I'd love to check out your work. If you have any special requests, please leave them in the comment section. And with that being said, I'll see you guys for Sunday's episode of My Vibrant Life up on the channel around 12 Pacific Standard Time. I'm Miles at Miles of Color, everywhere online. And do not forget, you are loved.